Hello friends, and welcome to the 18th green here at the Masters on this lovely Thursday afternoon. Jameson Carter joined by Brownie here. How are we doing today, Brownie? Thank you for having me. Wonderful. So we're on the eve, not only the first round, but the eve of the Sunshine State Conference series against St. Leo. But before we get to that, let's focus on the Masters here, Brownie. How are we shooting these last couple months? Well, you know, uh, we've been uh, spraying the ball around the course a little bit at early, and uh, but I think we've really, uh, on moving day, we've found our way. Well done, that's always what matters. Cash and checks. Thank maybe. you, <laughs> yes. So, turning focus now until tomorrow, 6 p.m. series opener in St. Leo. Brownie coming in, we've won six in a row, two straight sweeps, but now we hit the road rather than being here at the NSU Baseball Complex. Any change in the routine? What do you do to keep the guys kind of to uh, status quo. You know, I think anytime you're on the road, uh, your regiment changes, obviously. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're going to be traveling on a Friday morning, which I think that, um, you know, you have to be conscious of their bodies, making sure that we don't overdo it and they get stiff, you know, on the road. Um, but I think that um, from a preparation standpoint, it's also you try to tool them with the ability to apply their, their normal routine and have it fit for the road, right? And so like here we train differently than we do on the road. And so our guys, um, but I, I, I think that they understand and embrace it by this point in the season and they know how to get themselves ready. We've seen more stability with the lineup staying put the last couple of weeks, as well as you've gone to more routine changes in the bullpen with Strez the last two games against Rollins. Are you finally more comfortable with the guys in their set roles moving forward and you know when you can plug guys into different spots? You know, I think a lot of it is us learning the team, and I think that we've earned, um, uh, like guys have earned roles and guys have uh, really um, blossomed in, in certain situations, you know? And so I think from a strategic standpoint, I think we have an idea of how we want a series to go and how we, if we can dictate it, how we want to apply. Um, last weekend, you know, we didn't have to use a lot of pitchers. Um, this weekend, you know, going into the series, we have to have the preparation for, you know, if our starting pitching gets deep in a game or if one of the guys falls a little short. You guys as a staff gave up just one earned run last week. We've seen the offense break out as well. You guys are finding different ways to win. What does that say about this group right now? You know, I think that from the start, we thought we had um, the pieces that could really fit together and be a championship caliber club. Um, there's a, We're halfway through the conference season. We have a lot more to go. Um, you know, I think that keeping our our focus on what's ahead of us, you know, and so for this weekend at St. Leo, uh, we just got to continue to win series and hopefully put ourselves in position to return to the regional. We've seen over the last couple of weeks, the conference kind of dividing itself, you know, four teams on top, kind of the other middling teams and five on the bottom. Us and St. Leo being two of those top four, does that give any added pressure hitting this week or what more excitement, what would you say? You know, I think that, uh, again, this conference, everybody can beat everybody. And that's that's something that we've faced uh, now, you know, for eight years. We understand that. Um, I think that uh, going into this weekend, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't, I don't think of pressure. I think of fun. We, we have an opportunity to go play a really good club at their place uh, on the road. And, and I think that we have, we're playing good baseball. So um, they obviously are playing very good baseball. And so for us to go in there, I think is a great opportunity uh, for – good baseball to be played. And I think that you go back and look at the um, last weekend, you know, versus Rollins, those were great baseball games. You know, um, they, their guys pitched the heck out of it, you know, on, on Friday and Saturday. And uh, we had to grind our way through those W's. You know, I expect this uh, weekend coming up that we're going to have to grind a little bit. St. Leo comes in 26 and five, first year under their new staff. What makes them so tough and what they're doing right now? You know, I think they're feeling it, man. You know, they really have, uh, they have good energy and vibes. You know, when you see them on film, uh, they, they're playing a really good brand of baseball. Um, offensively, I think that they're uh, very aggressive and, uh, you know, they got a, they got a two-way guy uh, playing for them that has the, has the opportunity to impact the game with his bat and his arm, you know? And so I think when you have all those elements going on, uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, feel good to happen within the clubhouse. And um, I think Rick's doing a great job up there with his team. And, and I think, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be a fun to, to, to f play a new opponent, essentially, you know, a new team, a new program in the sense of, of who they are. Um, as he's establishing their culture and identity. And today, not only the Masters, it kicks off the minor league season. Guys like Yankee, Matt Hardy, Jeremy Vasquez all getting their debuts going today. Talk about those guys and what they did to 
not only lay the foundation, but really progress the program in their time here? Well, I mean, obviously their careers um, have helped shape to who we are today. And I think that when you look at how our players um, have continued to leave our jersey in a better place. Uh, I think we can start with a couple generations ago, but that generation, especially Matt Hardy's group, Michael Hernandez's group, you know, they, they came in here and uh, raised the bar. I think that you look at what they're doing now, uh, playing minor league baseball, it's so exciting for opening day. You know, their opening day is out, and, and as a program, we can't uh, help but uh, be uh, just excited to see how their season shape up. Uh, it, it's great to look out there and see we're impacting at the major league level, we're impacting at the minor league level. Uh, we have our guys that are still uh, uh, playing uh, professionally for independent leagues. They're still training with us right now. Uh, and then I think that, um, you know, obviously taking care of college baseball. I mean, you know, so it's, it's neat to see us working on multiple facets, you know, and I think that um, our program is a beneficiary of these generations, not only what they did here, but when they leave here, they continue to give back. That's all we've got. Good luck this weekend. Hopefully everyone tunes in. NSUSharks.com series opener tomorrow, 6 p.m. on the road. Thank you for tuning in once again. Go Sharks. Thank you.